this is the new layout. And if you click this, this is the old menu for the original hand tracking. So there's another option here. This is the stereo uh, viewer, which I'm going to show here in just a second. So right now I'm already connected. Um, let me go ahead and put the controllers down and um, this new live view button. Um, when I click that, now I'm in APS. Like I can see through my avatar's eyes and I can see my own hands and the hand tracking is all aligned in its 3D and it's like amazing. So this actually I think is gonna help quite significantly because it allows the user to see everything they're doing while recording their avatars or live linking like a HD version of this uh, or their avatars in Unreal or Unity or whatever, very real time. So it's like extremely efficient. And uh, and you can see like I can move around and almost synced um, with the scene. So it's it's unfortunately, it's just like monochromatic color. So red channel, that's why it's red. I don't even have full body tracking on. I'm just a Quest headset. That's it. No controllers, just a Quest headset. I mean, I'm I'm wireless. I think that this is a great way to interface the Quest with APS. Through the Quest, I can see my avatar's hands where my hands are exactly. And it's really freaking cool. This is the latest update for the Quest app, uh, the hand tracking app. If anybody uh, would like to try it, beta test it very early. It's still a work in progress. Just uh, an email or something and let you beta test the latest.